We zijn in maand. Eerste escape die we gaan doen. Just making hip escapes. Go to half guard. Watch my feet. Important is, I'm not gonna only turn to the side. He's not gonna allow me. Especially this guy. He's big, he's strong, he's heavy. He's not gonna allow that. So, I'm gonna bridge a little bit. Just to get some space. And now I'm gonna go to my side. Now, of course, normally in sparring, one hip escape is not enough. That's why I say multiple hip escapes. So, one, two, three. The moment you get a little bit of the hip out, you can escape. The moment your hips, let's turn a little bit, sorry. The moment your hip is a little bit out, you can escape. This is already too far, maybe. Here, here I can already escape. If he's over my hip, it's gonna be difficult. So, I'm bridging a small bridge and go to my side. That's why I say you make the movement at one time. Because if he's up, to exaggerate, if he's up, he has to come back down and there's space in between for a small period of time. So, one, two. And then, one, two. Now, we're almost out. What we're gonna do, now we're already really back, far back, but we can go to half guard. Normally, come back please. And for here, we make small hip escapes. Now we're just a little bit out, because he's gonna climb up as well normally. You keep your elbows tight in the middle of his, or in the inside of his leg, on the binnacle of the bane. If I keep it on the outside, he just walks. So then I'm screwed. So I'm here, I've been here, dip. Elleboog aan de binnenkant. Als ze nu naar boven loopt, heb ik nog wat tegenkracht. Heb ik nog wat weerstand. Now, this leg, the side, the other side that I'm turning, is going to hook his leg. I hook it, and now I turn my hips. Nu, een beetje naar achter alsjeblieft. Oké, zo. Dank u wel. So, small hip escape. You are on your side. Now it's good. If you can't reach the leg, of course he has long legs, but sometimes you can't reach the leg, then make the small hip escapes again. If your hip is there, you can make it. And then you can work pushing, hooking, sliding, turning. Clear? Push. Um, a lot of times, you guys are here, this is going well, but now you let that elbow free. Don't do that. You're still gonna be able to climb up. A bit more, can you see? Nee, ik doe met je heel boven liggen. Even terug. Hallo, people, they're here, that's good. Elleboog zit dicht. En dan ga je hier werken. Maar kijk, vergeet het hè. Benen zijn sterker dan armen. Leg, uh, legs are stronger than arms. So, you want to have as much protection with your arms as possible. Don't forget, it's grappling now. There's no risk of punching, so that's even better. No MMA related. Of course, MMA is a bit different story. But, you can be here with your elbows. So work with those elbows and then you can hook the leg in and turn. Now a lot of people do this. They only turn with the upper body. It's gonna be difficult. Try to push and use your hips to turn. So you make a reverse if you want to that well. So you do this. So you go in, up, and turn. A few more times, then we're gonna do a new technique. Let's go. Don't forget, sometimes you get in positions that are still annoying. Soms kom je in positions die nog steeds heel erg irritant zijn, zoals side control, half guard. But the main goal is getting out of mount. Mount is just not a position you want to be in because the back options are pretty open, submission options are open, and you can do a lot from here. So the main goal of mount escaping is not to get the upper position, it's to get a better position than mount, whether it's still annoying. Okay, now, we've done this one, the hip escape. Now we're gonna do a basic one to guard. Now what we're gonna do, sometimes your opponent, he's holding for his life. He's gonna stay low. And it's gonna be difficult. Especially beginners that squeeze for the life over here. Now, we're gonna kinda sweep him to the other side. And I'm gonna get on top. I need one underhook, one overhook. I need one underhook, one overhook. Now, we can do it in a few ways. The first one I'm gonna show you, my arm is going over, just like with the movement we did at the beginning. The self drill. My other arm is going that side, over there. Now, what I'm gonna do, if I can hook the leg, you can, but right now I can't hook the leg. If you're here and you can't hook the leg, it's possible. But it's not always necessary. 
Now I'm gonna go up with my hip and turn. When I put on this, I stay on my toes. Why? If I go on my knees, I don't have any power. I stay on my toes. Over here, I can still set up. Boom, stay high. Yeah, now I'm in guard. Way better than mount. I'm a whole lot. I get to smack a man. Man, man, man. Okay. Now, sometimes, sometimes we're here. I don't have any overhooks. That's no problem. Just grab your ear and elbow tight. Counts as an overhook as well. Because getting the overhook sometimes is a little bit obvious. Sometimes if I'm here, the overhook can be a bit obvious and you can work with the arm for arm bars, etc. So, oops. Okay. We're here. Hook the arm like this, like you're holding a phone or you're holding your own head, elbow in. Keep the elbow tight, then we can go again. On the toes, on the tail. Then, push. Okay, let's go. The reason why I'm going to say on the tail is that it makes it not always, but it's often a little easier in guard. Of course, the tail is very difficult to do for people who have shorter legs. But if we're here, boom. And I go for the guard and I stay on the tail. Heb ik gelijk toch een compressor. Nu, ik kan gelijk mijn knie onder zijn kont zetten. En ik zit gelijk in een stevige positie voor guard. Als ik gelijk op mijn knieën blijf, vergeet niet, hij gaat ook gelijk werken. Hij denkt, hé, hey, ik word toch zwiep. Hij wil mij ook pakken. Snap je? Daarnaast, als ik hier ben, voor de mensen die MMA doen. En grappling uh, en B is niet legaal, maar als je hier bent en je blijft op je tenen en je kan omhoog grijpen, kennen ook een opties, hè? Doe dat niet in sparen als je weet. Maar voor de mensen in de MMA partijen in de toekomst, ken ook plus. Soms mag dat, ligt aan het evenement. Nekrengs. Oké. Okay. Nu, andere escape. De, deze gaat voor beide hebben toch? Ja. Dus voor mijn gevoel wel enige vraag van de eerste twee. En die questions stil. Nou, toch? Oké. Okay. Maak het makkelijk. Werk weer makkelijk. Ja, kom maar, Kees. Nou, sometimes. Both these options don't work because they're very common. Veel mensen kennen deze opties wel. Komt veel voor. Now, what we're gonna do? Sometimes you have someone is just staying here, a little bit higher. He's gonna work from there. Now I'm gonna block the arm with two hands, two on one, twee op één. Waarom? Dat is veel sterker. One on one, maybe he's gonna win. Always assume you're the weaker one. Now I'm holding it against him. The straighter my arms, the better. Meer gestrekt, hoe beter. Straight arms is stronger than bent. Straight. Now, of course, you can't hold this too long because it's slippery. It's gonna try to work as well. But you have some time. Especially if you're straight with the arms. Now we're gonna bump him up, whether it's with the knee or a bridge. And we're gonna go to the side. You see what's happening? His weight is going there. So, one, two. After we go to guard, work in the meat, please. Pass, get the leg go open. So, we're here, we're working. Maybe we grab the arm. Now, important is don't keep it too much on the side, you're gonna turn it. Because I wanna be able, if I move, I wanna be able to push him that way. No, I don't have anything to push. I prefer his hand to be on the other side. Because now, if I change the weight, I can easily push the weight over there. So, around here, maybe a little bit to the outside. One. Two, after we have space. Now sometimes it doesn't fall, that's no problem, you can mix it. You get space anyway. If you have this, you get space. Sometimes it doesn't allow you to get sweat, but you do have space for other things to get in. Because his legs are going open, he has the base. Clear? Yes. Okay, man, let's go. I see some difficulties, no worries. Most of you maybe have not done this one yet, but few things. You can make it easier by going diagonal to bridge, but the problem is you can't straighten it properly then. I like to first go here, and then I can straighten it. If it's now, it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, I'm also a bit too far. You have space, you have strength, your arms are straight. The, the, the goal of this one is not necessary to flip it. Yeah, you get space, that's the main goal. Because now, even if I don't flip it, I have space to go with my knee out, I can work from here, it's about getting, creating space. You can go out, you can do whatever you want. For me, the escape itself is not important. For me, it's the reason that you get space by using this grip. Because, for example, okay, some are a bit tegen. If he's here, 
I can still get the meat under, and then I can do a lot of things, yooks, I can kick them out, etc. Doesn't matter. Experiment a little bit. It's about creating space, not escaping. Let's go. Uh, first of all, any questions? Any vragen van sparring? Any questions of the sparring itself that I need to answer? Because I can't imagine everybody was like, escape, escape. Uh, just, just to check, it was like with the overhead like this, and then yeah, 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 and close the elbow. Yeah. Not wide, elbow close. What is a good option for when you cannot grab the the foot when the when the knee is too high? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Um, from the situation for now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which one, Mr. Smith? Yeah. Top, top. Pull up, knock up. Yeah. Watch out. Okay. Pop my. Knock up, Mr. Smith. Pop my ass, man. It's not a gal, Kees. Okay, stuff like this, right? You mean or before this already? Yeah, maybe, maybe before, before this. A little bit before, okay. Like the... Okay. In situations like this, we're uh, gonna be a bit in a second. In situations like this, you have to think what knee is from the ground. In this case, it's right knee. Now he will, especially this uh, guy, he wants your arm bar or your triangle. He, he loves it. People like this that like the S mount never give one arm away. Do everything with two arms. If you work with one arm, the other arm is gone. Two arms. So if you're here, try to bring them both. Shimmy a little bit. I'm stuck in the shirt, of course. We bridge. Boom. If I get one arm, arm now, my other arm is screwed. If I can work with it, boom. You see? Triangle. If I work with only the other arm, he has the arm bar. Or triangle even. You see? So that's why I say work with two arms. So we're here. He is in the S mount kind of. Okay. If you can't lock the foot. Now, what we do, my elbow is here most of the time already low. Just like at the beginning what I told you, in the inside of the leg. But this means if I wait too long, he can do something with it. So we have to get the other elbow close to it. What I like to do in situations like this, because I'm a little bit autistic, I need to grab my own hands. I need to be praying. Yeah, I need to be praying here. Then my, both my elbows are in. And now if I work, the danger is less. You can still grab something, but it's less. And now, because of the elbow, I can slide the knee through and go to upward. And now I'm safe again. Yay. Okay, so. <laughs> a little bit over here. Okay, so. We're here. Now both are not there. We can also choose to go to the other side. But sometimes it's a bit risky because it's more distance to travel. Now, in this case, S1 is a bit different story, by the way, so it takes a little bit longer to explain. In this case, I don't want my arm free here. I like to dig it in, crossing myself. This already makes it a little bit more difficult for arm bars and triangles. Because if he does it, I can still have some space to escape him. Different story, though. And now, it's about shimmying, or I bridge and go both in. Praying again, and then I can work here, getting my knee in, working from here, turning in, passing. So get both elbows in, praying. Yeah. Now let's spar fully. Can we not even complete the S-mount or something? This was not complete S-mount. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now if he has full S-mount. Okay. Well, first of all, good luck. <laughs> because if you split in full S mode, that's why I say first get the elbows inside. Most of the time, it's going to be very, very difficult to escape. Now, you have to imagine the side, he's with his butt, he's probably going to need to attack. Because he has to fall that way, lean that way, etc. So that means if this arm is free, he already has the armor. You see? So, first switch, stay here, switch, protect this arm, that's the first side of danger. You see he has to balance on this side, if he doesn't balance, then it's easy to get space over here. Yeah, so he wants to put weight over there, so he has to balance over there, because if he puts weight over there, he's never going to see it. <laughs> you see, that means I can work with this arm, kick the arm out, work with that arm. 
So, we're on top. If he has to balance, I want to get my knee here. I want to work with my knee. And then, it becomes a lot more difficult to do stuff. Because if I'm here, kicking out, I can escape. Of course, this is not a perfect option, because this kind of mount is just very difficult. But you want to break his base, so you can turn and have some option. Because if you turn, you know he's probably going to make a triangle or an armbar, so you can react to that. But if you're there stuck, Man, good luck, man, you really have to pray. Okay, let's <laughs> go. <laughs>